Dada da vida. Dun dun da 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 dun 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 da da dun dun. And these slides would be like cut out like an American eagle or a flag or something like that. Right? Dun dun da 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 dun 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 da da dun 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 da 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 dun da 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 da. And this is why they're embarrassed to talk about everything they did like in college and in their youth. Just say, what did you really do at parties, right? And they, they're like, they don't want to talk about the polarized light thing. Okay, now. That's not even the coolest thing. The second coolest thing about this is that the plane of polarization actually can be affected by stress. So if I take this thing like this, the first thing you can notice is that if I turn this, it's very pretty. And you can see this is actually a piece of uh, like bulletproof glass. It's called um, Lexan. Is the, it's polycarbonate plastic as opposed to acrylic plastic. So polycarbonate is much softer but if a bullet hits it, it doesn't just shatter. It just sort of goes, Ugh, right? And it's of the two, it's easiest, it's easiest to cut because it doesn't shatter. But you can see the cutting this actually put a little stress in the edges, didn't it? Right? There's a little bit of stress there. And now I'm going to take this and bend it and watch the, watch the, the activity change. Isn't that crazy? It obviously depends on the wavelength of light, too. There's way more to this than, you know. And now I'm going to take it, I'm going to twist it. It's like, woo, twisting, I'm gonna bend it this way. It's like, ooh, that's pretty, isn't that neat? Okay, then we can take, if we wanted to see how like a, a little cube of lucite, this is like your brain, this is your brain in the IB program come like <laughs> February, right? Okay, so now this is your brain now, there's very little stress, right? A little bit of stress, but not really very much. You see any stress? Not really, right? So now let's just, um, a little stress on it. It's like, mm, I'm trying to make the middle smaller than the edges. That's sort of a stressful thing for plastic, right? Okay, now let's analyze the stress. Doesn't look like anything, but ooh, isn't that neat? You know, so before there were supercomputers that could model the stress in substances, anything you can draw on a CAD program, you can now model with these supercomputers, right? Before there was that, there were graduate students that built a model of the bridge using, you know, plastic and then you'd get giant polarized filters and you could put simulated loads on the thing and see where the stress was. Isn't that neat? Let's put a little more stress on it. More stress. Uh, right? Ooh. And then it's like, you know, the exams are over, so it's like, let's take away the stress. There we go. Stress is gone. Okay. And then the final thing is that um, if I take, this is a calcite crystal, okay? Um, and calcite has something called rhombic cleavage. Okay, I know this is kind of a, a dangerous thing to say, but basically it just means that if you, the crystalline layers are such that if you break this in, or, or the crystals it forms, it tends to make a rhombus and where salt has cubic cleavage, right? If you break it, it breaks along cubes like that, right? Okay. Um, and so if I take something like this, actually I need a, I need a dot. I need to make a dot. I need to write on my overhead. Here we go. There we go. Okay, now we're going to put this on top of there. You can see that the image seems to be strangely broken into two. And that's because light that's parallel to one of the planes of the crystals has a one index of refraction. Light parallel to a different, in a different direction has a different index of refraction. The index of refraction depends on the plane of polarization. Yeah? So if I take this filter, <laughs> that's kind of fun, huh? John. There we go. Isn't that cool? This is called birefringence. I didn't need to show you that, but it's very cool. So then I, I can't figure out these, um, I'll figure these things out. These are the 3D goggles. Shouldn't one be like polarized one way and one the other? Yeah. Doesn't seem to be though. It's like, shouldn't they be doing different things? Well, they're 
Yes. So, I mean, I assume that the polarized light, because they do in color, they have to be doing with polarization, that one would be like horizontally polarized and one vertically. Doesn't seem to be, though, does it? Do you know how that works? It's using polarized light somehow. It's a difference. There is a difference, but they both seem to be the same. Anyway, all right. So that's a failure of understanding. I don't know. There's some relationship between the color and the angle. 